anyway, it's wonderful to be with you and uh, to say uh, that I think this is great school and <coughs> I'm sure you're great people and that you feel, as you should do, a sense of privilege being here. Let your question each of us must ask, and you must start asking now because you're going to move on and decide what you are going to do with your lives. And the question is, if I am only one out of seven billion, what difference can I make to anything very much? I, in the total context of the world, am no more than a wave in the ocean, a grain of sand on a seashore, dust on the surface of infinity. Lefichach, tzarech adam lirot et atzmo kol hashana kula. Therefore, we should see ourselves for the whole of the year as if our life was evenly poised between good and bad, and as if the world were evenly poised between good and bad. And the Rambam has already told us that we and the world are judged by the majority of our deeds. And he says we have to see ourselves all year round as if we and the world were equally balanced and that our next deed would tilt the balance of the world. And Ann Heyman, who's a member of the joint, you know, so you have it here. So it's a Jewish charity that does stuff. And she said, hang on, they're all those orphans. And I'm Jewish. We're supposed to do something in situations like that. So she sat down and began to think it through. She phoned up Chaim Perry, who built a little youth village for orphans in the north of Israel called Yumin Ord. In, recent, in the last 20 or 30 years, it's mainly been dealing with kids from Ethiopia. And then she got in touch with other people in Israel who were also dealing with orphans, survivors, refugees, and building youth villages for them. And then she got in touch with Ruven Feuerstein, the world's greatest expert in dealing with children who are severely brain damaged. And Reuven put her in touch with people who are expert in highly traumatized children. And she, together with some, uh, a few American friends and uh, the experts from Israel, built a youth village in the middle of Rwanda for 750 orphans. Isaiah chapter 1. Isaiah chapter 1, the prophet asks, you know, what use is it to me, says God, if you come to shul, you come to the temple, offer me sacrifices, and yet you neglect the poor and the oppressed. That's not what I want of you. And driven by this vision of Isaiah, he created this food kitchen. Today it operates in 17 venues in Israel, giving 60,000 people of every day food to eat. Never believe that because we are only one, of seven billion, we cannot change the world. We can. I hope when you leave this school, when you go on to build your lives, when you live all that you learned here, you too will hear God's call to change the world, making the world that is a little more like the world that ought to be and then you will help change the universe. Thank you very much indeed.